Hey, everybody. I want to start off to say how is everybody doing? And I want to start off by saying happy Wednesday. And I want to start off by also saying I hope y'all having a great day. Uh, Not just a great day, a blessed day. Um, I really didn't know what I was going to say when I got on here. So that's why I was trying to take so long to figure out anything that I possibly can want to talk about that sound really potential for me because I just don't like to get on here and no talk about no anything. I like to talk about stuff that's going on in the world today, stuff that my subscribers and supporters could relate to because just because you don't subscribe to my channel doesn't mean that you don't support my channel because you does watch this my channel because every time you watch this my channel, you know, I get views. So I want I wanted to do something for my supporters and also do something for my uh subscribers. I don't want to get on here just talking about anything. That's just me. I want to talk about something that's important and some that's not only gonna bring thoughts to our mind, but it stimulate our mind, our soul, and our heart. So I wanted to start off by saying that I wanted to know, in y'all opinion, how soon is too soon to move in with your new boo or your new partner, as y'all will call it? Uh, because I was looking at something and I seen that it said, it's, I, I was seeing that it, it's too soon after maybe a month that you known the guy that you move in with your partner. Well, how is that too soon? What if he wants to move in to see how how y'all react with each other in the same house? You know, what if he want to does that? What what if he want to do that? What if he want to be around you uh twenty four seven to see? What is the outcome is going to be on that? Is he going to have to uh, leave the house? Or can he be able to stand your attitude that you put in there? Because I think, you know what? I kind of think that sometimes it's best. I think sometimes people, we need to move in together before we even think about marriage. And I say, I say that because I think if we can get to know each other as one, Maybe our attitudes and everything, and we set each other as one, then maybe we could learn then that this could be a prospect of being your husband or your wife or whatever you want to call it. But just to move in with one another and you don't have no goal plans, no nothing set out to figure out where y'all want to go, no finance agreements. It, it, it's kind of, I don't want to say this word, but it's kind of crazy. It is. Because I feel like one should not be paying everything and the other ain't paying nothing. Or I feel like one should not be paying, what, 100% or 50% and the other paying 25%. Just like one's paying the, the rent and the rent is 1700 And the other one is paying, uh, what? The light bill and the lap bill is half that price. Now, well, we already know how much light bill is. The light bill may be like once, maybe 200 And you know, we don't have home phones unless you want one in your home. You have your own cell phone bill. You know what I'm saying? If y'all on the cell phone bill, a cell phone playing together, then that's totally different. And then you got cable and internet and all of that. So I'm just thinking to myself, the only bill that your uh, your new boo got is the light bill. And you got to pay all the rest of these bills. You got to pay not only your cell phone bill, but you got to pay the cable bill. You got to pay the internet bill. Then on top of that, you got to have money to get back to work every day. For gas and then you gotta have money for food but then 
instead of y'all eating in, I'm not saying all the time, but I'm going to say most of the time, instead of y'all eating in sometimes, he always want to go out all the time. Then he do something that you don't know, and that's called home to his mama and ask for money. But you helping him with the insurance on his car. You helping him with this, but they thinking that you're not doing nothing. They thinking that you're not working. Or if you are working, you, uh, you, you can have only two clients a week if you uh working in a tattoo shop or a hair salon. But what most people don't understand is not think that this is what they need to come to grips with is that most of the time when you work in a tattoo shop or when you work in a hair salon, you're going to make money. I mean, when you work in a tattoo shop, that tattoo shop, the clients coming there are going to automatically want to be your clients. You're going to make him out of being your client. And that's the same with doing hair. Hair is something that people want to go get done all the time. Whether they're getting their hair cut, braids, twists, uh, dreads, whatever. They're just like tattoos. People love tattoos, you know, and so that's something that they want to do. I think people, families should stop downgrading them on what they do and just be happy that they doing something in life. If your partner is doing something, you should not allow your partner, your family to downgrade your partner. And then you shouldn't allow it, you shouldn't allow to come out to be everything is your partner's fault. That you will sit there and say, well, every time something don't go his way, this is how he acts. And then the first thing your family saying, well, um, and you sure this is the person you want to marry? But then your mama really don't too much. And y'all, I, I, I kind of deal with this from time to time. You know, I've been in situations like this from time to time. But that's going to be another uh, video. Um, don't get along with your partner. But your mother don't get along with your partner. And your mother don't accept your lifestyle. But she have a comment on, on your lifestyle that you're not ready to get married to this person. Mm -hmm. I just think that. If I can't be in your life, I'm not saying I got to be the number one person in your life. I know it's your mother, you know, because that's who birthed you. If I can't be in your life where you come home to me and tell me what's going on in your life, and if you can't be totally honest with me, then I don't want to be with you. I'd rather be doing something productive with myself than just be stressing all the time. on what is being said by your family or if they're going to like me. I don't want to go over your, your family house and they look at me a certain type of way and I feel uncomfortable. Why did I come over here? I could have stayed home for that. You understand what I'm saying? And then a lot of families think, well, it shouldn't be all about the first thing the mother and them say, or the sister and them say, it shouldn't be all about me. It's about y'all. No, you make it about yourself when you put yourself in your child's business, which has nothing to do with you. You raise your child the best of your ability. Now, you got to be able to accept and learn and hope that your that child be able to make the right decisions for himself. You can't make that decision for him. You have to, court, it's time to cut that umbilical cord. You should have cut that umbilical cord when he turned 18 or 21. 
I, I mean, I know it's people, I know it's parents out there saying, you're going to always be my baby, blah, 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 this, blah, blah. But that's not the case. The case is, if you don't let your baby grow up to be a man, he going to always be a baby. That's the same as the females. If you don't allow your, your daughter to grow up to be a woman, she always going to be a child and be a baby. That's just the way it is. But that's just what I want to call this video. How soon is it before you move in with your with your uh with your partner or your um significant other, I guess.